cord, I never got to do that. You can either breathe here and your high plank. It's a challenge right away, but in this challenge, can you continue to trust yourself, trust your growth, trust your strength? You may even throw in some push-ups. I see people doing that. Deep breath in, shift your weight forward. Exhale, lower all the way down, tap your forehead down. Setting up for Cobra Pose, Ujjangasana. Untuck your back toes, slide your um, hands right underneath your shoulder blades. Inhale, Cobra. Pull your chest away from the mat. Continue to breathe here, gaze up and out. Maintain length in your spine. See if you can lift up just one inch higher. Keep your feet rooted down on the mat the entire time. Little to no weight in your palms. Inhale. Exhale, tap your forehead down to your mat. We go two more times. Inhale, cobra. Pull your chest away. Exhale, tap down. Last one. Inhale, elevate. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes. Option to move into a high plank or through a tabletop. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, feet to meet your hands. Keep them hips width distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, stretch over to the left. Inhale, mountain. We're gonna add in a little back bend here. Exhale, baby, back bend. Have to your arms face up and forward. Inhale, drop your palms down behind your back chest expansion. Exhale, bound forward, fold. Keep your fingers interlaced. Inhale, gorilla pose. Slide your feet on top of your hands. Exhale, forward, fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway down, high to low plank, chaturanga the basana, hold here. Hug your elbows in towards your rib cage, lower your glutes even more. Inhale, upward facing dog, untuck your back toes, shine your heart, shine your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. As always in my classes, you have two rounds for yourself. I won't be cueing you through them. So allow yourself just to breathe and to move. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, feet to meet your hands. You're on your own, my friends. You can take the same variation, a different variation. Just do whatever feels good in your body. Maybe even close your eyes. And for new friends just joining in, continue to move. Um, we are doing a couple rounds of Sun A, and there is a playlist for class if you want to follow along. So I'm going to go ahead and chat through that link. Continue blowing through your Sun A. You all look beautiful. We're taking two rounds. When you finish up your second round, we'll meet in a downward facing dog, but no rush to get there. Down dog is where we meet. Take your time, still see some of you moving. Beautiful movements. In your downward facing dog, I'm gonna show you where we're going next. And this is the part where I'll be turning around on my mat. We can do it together though. But just to give you a heads up, if I'm flipping sides, that doesn't mean that you have to flip sides. It's just so I can face you the entire time. So from a down dog, we'll keep moving on together. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Make a connection. Stack your shoulders on top of your wrists. Try to send your knee even higher onto your tricep. Extend both legs long fall in triangle. Straighten through, stack your left palm on top of your left shoulder. Bump your hips up even more. Hold and breathe. 
We root down through your left palm, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, wild thing. Flip across your body, come onto the left side of your foot, bend through your right toes, send your right palm up and out. Continue to breathe here. Maybe even drop your gaze back. Press out of your left palm even more. Slowly come back to center, right palm down, inhale, leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot forward. Keep your right knee on top of your right ankle. Option to come onto your fingertips or allow your palms to root down. Come high onto your left toes. From here, from here we'll try on something different. We get to straighten out through your right leg. Keep your left leg exactly where it's at. Extended modified pyramid. Extend your arms out long towards the front side of your mat. Keep a soft bend in your front leg. Square your hips forward. Yeah, you all look great. Send your palms down, so rather than mountain pose upright, we're going for extended. So you'll shift your palms out at an angle. Yeah, beautiful adjustments. Bring your biceps towards your ears is another good way to think about it. Inhale here. Exhale, airplane your arms behind you. Keep your legs exactly where they're at. Just sweep your arms back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and down your spine. Elevate your palms even more to activate through your triceps. You all look great. Inhale, double lunge. Draw your palms to heart center, bend through both legs. Hover your left foot up off the ground so it's barely just off of your mat. Keep your right knee stacked on top of your right, on top of your right ankle. Right here, you may even feel a little shaky. You may feel a little off balance, that's okay. Engage through your core and allow yourself to breathe here. Deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Seal your back foot down, bend through your front knee, gaze over your front middle finger. Now, rather than holding your shoulder blades up here, we tend to hold stress here. See if you can relax down. Pretend like I'm physically like pulling your arms down even more. See if you can lunge even further in towards your front knee. And ask yourself, can I breathe through this? The answer is yes, you can. Inhale, reverse warrior. Tap your left palm to your back leg. Reach up, 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 and then reach back. Maintain the stacking of your right knee on top of your right ankle. Square your chest towards your computer screen or whatever wall you're facing. Relax your top shoulder away from your ear. Now this is where we'll both change it up a little bit. You'll be going straight through chaturanga towards the front of your mat. I'll be going to the back of my mat just so I can keep doubling for you. Deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga vimasana. Go forward to the top, beautiful. Exhale, downward facing dog. Move up and back. We'll try that out on the left side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, connect it to your right tricep. Send your legs out long, inhale, fall in triangle. Bump your hips up. Reach your right arm up, breathe here. Seal your right foot down, come onto the pinky side edge of your left foot. Drop your right palm back down, inhale left leg high. Exhale wild thing. Roll onto the pinky side edge of your right foot, bend through your left toes, reach your left arm up and back. So you're balancing your weight on your right palm. So we come back to center, inhale, leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe here. Continue to rock your weight so that your left knee is right on top of your left ankle. Come high onto your right toe, see if you can elevate through your heel even more. Begin to straighten through your left leg, keep a little bend. Inhale, extended, modified pyramid. Bring your biceps with your ears. Shift your hips so that they're straight forward in front of you. Breathe here. Slide your shoulder blades together and down your spine once more like we did earlier in class. Come even higher onto your back toes. 
Deep breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms, send them back. Activate through your tricep muscles. Draw your palms up and together, even closer. Continue to gaze down and out. Keep your neck nice and long. Inhale, double lunge. Draw your palms to heart center, bend through both knees. Engage your left glute. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards one another. You'll look great. Draw your tailbone straight down so you have like one flat back. Beautiful, rather than hinging forward or back. Just try to stay upright. Inhale, exhale, warrior two, open up. Seal your right foot down, bend through your left knee. Maybe even close your eyes on this side, breathe here. You know what it looks like. You've probably been in warrior two before, but can you see what it feels like? With your eyes closed, try to make those tiny adjustments. Maybe bend even further into that left knee. Relax your shoulders away. Maybe even give yourself a little smile. Relax your jaw even more. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bump your hips forward, reach your palm up and back. Continue to breathe here. Little to no weight in that right palm. Square your chest forward. So it becomes more of a side body stretch rather than a back bend. Continue to reach down through your right foot. It may want to lift a little bit, try to seal it back down. Deep breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga Vandasana to the right of your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs, we'll flow that breath to movement. I want to make sure, can you all hear me, right? I got a thumbs up. Yeah, perfect. Let's keep moving. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left tricep, ball and triangle. Extend it up. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, wild thing. Inhale, back to center, leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, extended, modified pyramid, rise up. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, double lunge. Exhale, warrior two, Vira two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, Chaturanga Vimasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, right tricep to fall in triangle. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, wild thing. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, extended. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, double lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, Chaturanga Vimasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, ball and triangle. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, wild thing. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, extended. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, double lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, Chaturanga Vimasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, fall in triangle. Inhale, leg high, beautiful movements. Exhale, wild thing. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, low lunge. 
Inhale, extended. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, double lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga, the masana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We flow one more time, adding on just a little bit. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, ball and triangle. Hold here. Continue to stack your left hands up, but this time elevate your right foot. Draw it up and forward towards your computer screen. Flex your toes to your face. We hold here. And tough transitions like this. We often want to start pulsing. We often want to start moving out of it, but rather than moving your body, can you continue to extend your leg out? Yeah, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, wild thing. Inhale, center, leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, extended. Exhale, airplane arms, hold and breathe. Start bending through your right knee. We'll take full airplane. You have to launch up and forward. Keep your arms exactly where they're at. Just elevate your left foot up. Draw your body forward towards the top of your space. Flex your left toes up. Continue to breathe where you're at. Inhale. Exhale, return back down. Modified pyramid with airplane arms. Inhale, double lunge. Bend through those knees. If you've taken my class, you know where we're going. Breathe here. We're going to pulse it down, down. Inhale. Exhale, get your left knee even further towards the ground. Squeeze through your left glute. Engage through your thighs. Really press your palms together here. We're here for four. Three, two, one, hold it low, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga, the masana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, fall in triangle, you know where we're going. Draw that left foot up and hold. Rather than moving out of it, we find the peace in the transitions. We find the peace in holding. We may not be moving our bodies, but you're still moving your breath. Allow it to be fluid, peaceful, and calm. Send your right foot down, inhale, leg high. Exhale, wild thing. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, extended. Exhale, airplane arms. Bend through that left knee, full airplane, take flight. Extend your right leg up and back. Engage through your core to keep a flat back. Gaze at one part or point that's not moving and send yourself some positive vibes rather than any criticisms here in this challenge. You are strong, you are powerful, and you showed up today. That's half the work, my friends. Inhale, exhale, drop it back down, airplane arms modified pyramid. Inhale, double lunge. Exhale, drop it even lower, we pulse it down. Down, engage those glutes, engage those thighs. Maybe even close your eyes here. Allow yourself to go inwards, to trust your process, to trust your growth. Here for four, three, two, one, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga, vasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, feet to your hands, have a seat. Woo, towel up, grab some water. Amazing work. Exhale, 
I am out of breath talking and teaching. I don't know how you guys are feeling. It is nice and sweaty here. If you're following, following along with the playlist, fast forward to underwater, and we'll get into a little bit of core. Cue it up and we can all start it together. We'll start in three, two, press play on one. We'll meet in a high plank. I'm gonna demo it real fast up here and then I'll show you guys together. So what we'll be doing is making the square with our leg. So from a high plank, stack your shoulders over your wrist, draw your glutes down, engage through your core, dome through your upper back. Inhale, right knee, right tricep. Exhale, shift it over to the left. Drop it down, inhale over. Exhale, suck it in, press it up. So we make a square as we go up. I'm gonna demo it on this side as well. So right knee, right tricep, over, down, over, and up. Yeah? Okay, let's get started. High plank. Not here for long, I'm gonna bump up my music. Release that ujjayi pranayama. Strong breaths out through your teeth, it sounds like this. Shh. Connect to your right tricep. Over, down, over, and up. Yeah, that looks great. I'll do it up here with you, we're not here for long. Make sure you're breathing. Shh. Strong open mouth exhales. Shh. You choose the pace. I just want it to match your breath, my friends. Engage through your core, here for four, three, two, one, downward facing dog, bend through your knees. Where there's a right, there's a left, come back to high plank, one-legged plank, elevate your left foot, left knee, left tricep, over to your right tricep, drop it down, keep it down and over, suck it back up. You got it, same exact square movement here. Can I breathe through this? The answer is yes. You are strong, keep your body moving. Tuck your obliques and your abdominals in. Here for four, three, draw higher two, down dog on one. Bend through your knees. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, feet to your hands, have a seat. We meet in a boat pose. Come onto your glutes. Hug your hands underneath your thighs. Draw your feet forward, that's the word. From here, elevate your palms so that they can touch at heart center. I'll show you from a side view. Inhale here, exhale, twist right. Inhale, center, exhale, twist left. You can release the palms from heart center and just go with your fingertips. Whatever feels good in your body. Draw your gaze wherever your fingers go. Commit to that strength in your obliques. Often even straighten your legs out and go. Just keep a long spine. Here for six, five, four, just three, only two. Onto your backs on one, legs up the wall. Begin to climb your rope. We go left, right, left, right. Flex your toes to your face. Engage through your lower core. Lift your shoulder blades up the entire time. So this thing about trusting the process is trusting that nothing in this life is permanent. All of this will end, including core. So allow yourself to be totally present. Allow yourself to commit to your growth and strength rather than inviting in any challenges or criticisms. You can breathe through this. Reach even higher. Tap through your toes if you can reach that. Here for four, three, two, one. Hug your knees in towards your chest, rock from side to side. Rock yourself up and back. Slowly come back to a seat on your mat. Grab some water, towel off, we're done with core. Super long song, so it may be playing. 
but I'm not going to keep you here for the whole seven minutes. Take any cat cows, anything you need to reset. Maybe continue those long open mouth exhales. And when you're ready, you can keep the playlist exactly where it's at. We'll meet back in a downward facing dog. Beautiful work. You still have a few more breaths to get there. I'm gonna catch my breath and then I'll meet you all back there. Slowly make your way back to a downward facing dog. Beautiful work. And your down dog, just allow yourself to breathe. You know the shape, you know what it feels like. You channel through your ujjayi pranayama. Strong breaths in through your nose and back out through your nose. I love the group of grandmas that I have going on right now who just stare at their computer screen and smile at me with all the love in the world. Continue to breathe. In your down dog, inhale your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Feel your left foot down to a 45 degree angle. Keep that bend in your right knee. Inhale, warrior one. Rise all the way up. Now this time, allow your back to be completely upright and your fingertips to point up towards the ceiling. Draw your palms down to your head creases. Square them forward if you can. If they don't go totally forward, that's fine. All of our bodies are different anatomically. Just allow your hip and your knee, sorry, no, your knee and your ankle to point in the same direction. You just want alignment there. Draw your palms back to upright position. Deep breath in. Exhale, find a bind at your back. Inhale, chest expansion, look up. Exhale, humble warrior. Draw your right shoulder to the inside of your right thigh. Now just allow your gaze and the crown of your head to drop straight down. This is a great place to close your eyes and go inwards. I invite you to do that. And just acknowledge anything that's coming up for you physically, mentally, or emotionally. If you're looking through more intensity through your shoulders, you can send your palms even higher up towards the ceiling. Face forward towards the top of your space. Keep your leg back. Just release your palms down. Inhale, standing splits. Launch your left foot up towards the ceiling. Flex your toes to your face. Breathe here. Drop your neck and your crown down so that you can gaze right behind you. Now begin to draw a line on that back wall with your left foot. Allow it to go higher and higher. Square your hips down. You may have to send your right hip up just a little bit to do so. Deep breath in, exhale, jiva squat. Connect left knee to your right calf. Inhale, extend your leg back, standing splits. Exhale, connect knee to calf. Inhale, extend. Exhale, connect, hold here. Draw your palm to the outer edges of your mat. Have a seat with your legs exactly like that. So your legs are crossed. Roll onto your back for cow face pose. Grab for your feet, extend them out. This is a really great hip stretch. Draw your knees to touch. Continue to open up through your hips. Now release that wrap in your legs. Just hug your knees in towards heart center. Reach behind your thighs, take some rocking rolls up. Take about two or three rolls, and on that last one, use your momentum to cap yourself in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back, low lunge. 
So your left knee stacks over your left ankle. And it's the one on top. I'm gonna get my music going, just give me one sec. Inhale, warrior one. Seal your back foot down, bend through your front knee. Elevate your arms up towards the ceiling. Breathe here, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Find that same forward rotation with your hips. Spiral your back thigh up and towards the ceiling. You should feel that in your outer glutes even more. Find that bind behind your back, interlace your fingers, inhale, gaze up, punch it down. Exhale, humble warrior. Draw your left shoulder to the inside of your left thigh. Drop your head down. Same option, add in a little more intensity. Take an even deeper lunge and allow your arms to go even higher and straighter towards the ceiling. Feel that through your shoulders, through your chest, and just allow yourself to breathe. Bend your exhales to any places of tension, maybe through your hamstrings. And allow your breath to ground you down even more. Rather than shaking and anxiously waiting to get out of it, can you breathe through it, get even deeper. Draw your fingertips down. Inhale, standing splits. Elevate your right leg up. Square your hips down, so draw your right hip down this time. Extend through your right leg, draw it up and back. Deep breath in, exhale, Jiva squat. Connect your right knee to the back of your left leg, so towards your calf. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, Jiva squat. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, Jiva squat. Last one, inhale, leg high. Exhale, Jiva squat. Draw your right foot to the outside of your mat. Keep your legs bent. Have a seat in this awkward leg position. Roll that onto your back for cow face pose. Reach for your feet. Stretch them out. Maybe even roll from side to side on your mat. Just keep your low back rooted down, please. For more intensity here, pull your feet even further apart from each other. You'll feel that immediately in your hips. Release that wrap in your legs, hug your knees and towards heart center, just connect. Now reach behind your thighs, take those rock and rolls. This time we'll just meet in this seat at the top of our mats. Grab some more water, towel off if you need it. And I'm gonna demo something for you that we can try on. So for our arm balance, if you have blocks or hardcover textbooks or anything like that, I would highly recommend it. Um, I'll give you a minute to go and get those. Yeah, looks like we're good. Okay, so from here, we're gonna focus on jump throughs. So my legs will go up and out and I'll show you how to do it using blocks. Start in a squat and curl, draw your big toes to touch, connect your feet to your heels. I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Now your blocks can be on the lowest setting or I like the mid setting, either one is good, as long as it feels comfortable in your body. Root down through your fingertips onto your blocks my blocks are right against my hips. They're pretty close there. From here, begin to bend your elbows like we're in a chaturanga in that low plank. Begin to elevate your toes away from your heels and begin to sink your weight down just a little bit. Elevate your feet up, send them out, and slowly lower down. We'll try that on together. You can try it on without blocks. Again, whatever's comfortable in your body. If you're using blocks or books or anything, Draw them to the right outside of your hip creases. Balance onto your toes. And if you don't want to jump all the way through, a good place to start is just to cross your ankles, hang out here for a little bit. Then if you want to add on more intensity, shoot them forward, drop it down. Try it on. I'll give you a few rounds of breath to play. And I'll look up here. If you have any questions, just let me know. Yeah, Zach. 
Beautiful. It's hard to get that lift, I know. That's why the blocks can be helpful. Yeah, Lauren, you got it. Squeeze your thighs even closer together. Yeah, now begin to lift up. Yeah, there we go. Woo, all right. When you're done with that, just take some shoulder stretches. Send your fingertips forward. Send them up, maybe to the right, to the left. We'll do this one. Just grab and stretch. Beautiful. And we'll meet back on our backs. To lie all the way down, you can grab some water or a towel before we get there. Beautiful work. Make your way down onto your back. Set up for a bridge pose. Keep your feet hips width distance. Stack your knees on top of your ankles. From here, graze the backs of your heels with your fingertips. This means that it's just a good distance in your body. Inhale, bridge pose. Elevate your hips and your glutes up off of your mat. Breathe here. Draw your knees back towards the center of your body if they begin to splay out. Root down through your shoulders to find even more lift through your abdominals. Now, rather than squeezing your glutes here, which is the tendency and the instinct in our body, release your glutes, engage through your abs instead, and use that to lift your body. Feel that difference in your body and your breath if it did anything for you. And slowly lower back down. We'll do two more rounds. This round option to move into wheel pose or option to just take the same round of bridge. I'll demo wheel on my mat. If you know it, you can just do it together. Every variation start in a bridge pose. Friends and wheels, draw your palms behind the crown of your head or behind your head for now. Now come onto the crown of your head and begin to lift all the way up. You may have to walk your knees in closer or together. Just allow yourself to breathe. Drop your gaze back. Keep a soft bend through your elbows. Wheels slowly lower back down to bridge. Bridges slowly lower back down as well. Knock your knees to touch. We find collapse bridge. Allow your feet to splay out wide. Allow your sacrum to root down onto your mat. Deep breath in. Exhale, soup the body canasana. Draw the soles of your feet together. Open your knees wide. Place one palm on your hand, one on your stomach. Option to close your eyes. Engage with the rise and fall of your belly and the slow rhythmic beating of your heart. No matter what situation we're in, no matter what circumstances may be happening around us, we can use our heartbeat and our breath to calm down. We can use it to find more peace, to find more calm and get us even closer to trusting the process and whatever that looks like for each and every one of us individually. Knock your knees to touch. Squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Inhale. Exhale, happy baby. Extend your feet up to the ceiling. Flex your toes. Option to rock from side to side, just keep your low back down. And I have a few of us joining us from the bay. Up there, we flutter our lips and happy baby. It sounds like this. It's super silly. And I think it's literally only a Berkeley thing, but it always relaxes my mouth and my face even more. Just rock from side to side. If you want more stretching through your legs, lengthen your legs out even further towards the right and the left sides of your mat. 
draw your knees back to center. Prepare for supine twist. Extend your left leg all the way long onto your mat. Hug your right knee up and in towards the right side of your body. Deep breath in. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your knee across your body. Extend up through your arms. Root down through your shoulders. Gaze in the direction opposite of your twist. Slowly come back to center. Extend your right leg long. Hug your left knee in. Deep breath in. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your left knee across your body. Root down through your shoulders. Gaze in the direction opposite of your twist. And shut down your eyes. Hug your knees back and towards your chest. Draw your forehead up to your knees. Thank yourself for coming to class for practicing on this Sunday morning. And slowly begin to release into your final resting pose. This can be Shavasana, straight on your back. And before we get too comfy, if you're on the playlist and you would like to move into our Shavasana song, it's the last one. If not, totally cool. Just allow yourself to get comfortable. We have a nice and long shavasana. I'll guide you out when it's time. So allow yourself to root down and to get comfortable.
Keep your bodies exactly where they're at. And allow yourself to soften even further into your mat. We can't control the circumstances that we're faced with, but we can control how we respond to things. Rather than reacting right away, for example, even in a yoga class, rather than trying to move your body out of a pose and into the next, see where you can take more time for yourself to enjoy the transitions and the spaces in between. I strongly believe that in these spaces, this is where we become most present, most alive, and most in touch with ourselves in the best way possible. Draw even more awareness to your breath, your mind, your body. Inhale a little more trust into the process. Open mouth, exhale, release any fear. When we're like that, deep breath in, a little more trust. Exhale, release any fear. Begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Roll out your wrists, your ankles, rock your neck from side to side. Allow your body to reawaken in this space slowly and purely. Stretch your arms out long behind your head. Take a full body stretch. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Roll onto your right or your left side, whichever is calling to you. Use your bottom bicep as a pillow to rest your head on. We have the option every single day to use yoga to restart our days. It may be 10.30 on a Sunday, but you have the opportunity to restart from a more energetic and balanced place. Slowly begin to walk yourself up to a seat. Cross your legs at the top of your space. Connect your palms to heart center and flutter your eyes close. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. Draw your fingertips up to your third eye center, the space between your eyebrows. May all beings everywhere be happy, healthy, free, and at peace. Deep breath in. Exhale, bow your head down to your space. The light and the love in me honors the light and the love in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you for flowing. So good to see my friends in the Bay who I normally practice with, as well as my friends down in SoCal and all over. I think Anika's on, yeah. We have friends from Texas here. We have friends from all over. So thank you for honoring your body, honoring the space, and you are free to go. I'm gonna screenshot one more time. So if you can turn on your cameras and smile, I think that the photos are super cute. So I'm gonna be annoying and do one. <laughs> We'll do one in three, and two, and one. I love it.